Hello guys, today I want to give you a short lesson about date picker and date formatting, formats of the date in Laravel. So example is a birth date field, for example, in your register form or whatever. And in the database, you need that to be year, month, day, right? Because it's MySQL, that's the format of the date in database. But visually, you need to use, for example, some other date format. It depends on the country, on the region. and for date picker, for example, it's this format. So month, day, year, like this. And this is actually a default format of jQuery UI date picker. So if you don't specify an option for date format, it actually is month, day, year by default. And let's say you want it this way. So for your users, for your visitors on the web, that should be the format. And in the database, it should still stay year, month, day. So we will use eloquent accessors and mutators to change the value before saving the database and every time it gets from the database. So first things first, in the database migration, I added a date field, simple date field. Then in the register blade, which is from Laravel UI, by the way, Laravel UI package based on bootstrap and jQuery. So we added a field birth date with date picker class. And then in the main app blade at the bottom, I just copied and pasted jQuery date picker without any options. So by default, it is month, day, year. So we need to transform that from one date format to another date format. And you can do that in controller wherever you're saving that form. In my case, it would be register controller. So for example, here in register controller, birth date could be carbon create from format and then make another format. But what if that date is also managed from the other form and you may forget to do the same transformation there? So the most stable and logical solution would be eloquent models. So we go to eloquent model of user. We add the fillable birth date and we have set birth date attribute. So whenever a new record is being saved or in fact updated, whenever it is changed in the database, it will assign birth date value to carbon create from format this. So this value will come from the form and then format it to the one that you need. So if we save that, I will show you fake filler, Chrome extension, and then we pass the date and we're logged in and refresh the database. As you can see, the birth date is formatted correctly. Now, what if you want to show that birth date somewhere or make that editable? So already existing, and you need to pass that to the page, but format it with the visual date format with month, day, year. So we need to do the reverse operation and I have a special page for that profile. So in the profile blade, I have a special profile blade. It's almost the same as registration, also birth date, also date picker. And the value of that is auth user birth date. So in the blade, I don't do any transformations. Instead, I do that in the model as well. So in the model below, get birth date attribute. So set birth date attribute is for setting the value into the database and that birth date should be camel case. So our real value is snake case. In this case, it should be uppercase letter for each of the parts of the variable. So set birth date attribute and then get birth date attribute gets the value from the database from this format and then formats it to another format. If you want that format to be changeable, possibly this could be somewhere in the config file to avoid this duplication, especially if you use that on more fields than this one. But for this simple example, it's okay. And then I don't need to change anything in Blade. That's the beauty of the solution. I can change that date to whatever I want. I save, it saved successfully. And in the database, everything is still good. And I will link to the official Laravel documentation on accessors and mutators in the description of this video. And if you want to have more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe. And by the way, I have a special course on Eloquent. It's quite an old one, but like 95% of that is still relevant. Eloquent expert level. It's one of my most popular ones on Teachable platform. I have 12 courses. So this is, I think, number two in popularity and in revenue for me. So you can check that out. I will link that as well in the description below and see you guys in other videos.